Welcome back, Rockstars, to another episode here in our Anubis Pixelmon series. So, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so last time, we were really focused on EV training, and we caught our Gasly. So, in between episodes, guys, I have worked a bunch to get money, mainly just selling a lots of iron ore, so we could be able to afford a power lens and a power anklet to speed up our EV training. So, it's not almost complete completely but we're getting there because if we do slash evs on our ghastly it's six percent 32 speed one special defense no one special attack we haven't done very much with it but if we keep going down 252 speed and special attack on charmeleon who's completely done which is very nice and then we do number three he's got 121 attack and 252 speed so they're most of the bomb they're all really close to being able to be finished off so i figured we start off today's episode quite simple you know the armors that we worked on is that something i really want to finish off so let's go ahead and finish all these off that we can and there we go okay so what do we need we need team rocket pants all of team magma and team plasma i have all of team aqua so aqua can go away so team plasma pants let's go ahead and build those real quick no they don't need pants that was team rocket i need the helmet and the boots for team plasma there we go and perfect give me the team rocket pants and that gives me those beautiful and now we can just finish up everything that we need with the good old team magma which i did not mean to make the helmet again i really hope i have enough gems i do so perfect there we go okay let's throw the helmet and the gems in here and we can go ahead and finish off these sets so let's go ahead and throw these team magma on here and that finishes off that beautiful team rocket you take this as well and then we just have Team Plasma. So there we go. Not anything, you know, super Pixmon related, but it's always cool to have the collection of everything. So we've got the most basic, you know, Team Armor set up here, which is nice. Okay, guys. So as you can see down below me, there's a little bit of class down there. Now you might be wondering what that is because it doesn't look very fancy. Let's go ahead and take our Eleporter. Eleport a teleporter block down or elevator block down here we are so basically this is still my property inside my range of what I've claimed to my land but it's just downwards now the reason for this is, is this is specifically just a storage area as you can see here it's something real fancy or anything but it's just been put down here for now overall I don't want to build the entire thing off camera and whatnot but I just want to get a basic area so we had a good spot for anything else that we might need because everything up here kind of has its spot and its location for now okay guys you know I think it's time that we had a full evolution I think it's time that we got a Charizard level up Charmeleon once and twice and last time there we go beautiful Charmeleon is evolving into a big battle Charizard who's gonna be so extremely powerful and I'm so happy about it look how big he is holy crap that's a big Charizard air slash yeah over fire thing absolutely that's there you go look at you buddy he is so big. That's actually massive. His growth is giant. That's insane. And on top of that as well, as you guys can see here, let's go ahead and do slash Poke Builder because if we do slash Balance, I have 270 tokens. So we're gonna do slash Poke Builder and we're gonna change a bunch of natures on our Pokemon, starting with Charizard. Charizard, you need a nature boost. Where is anything with plus special attack? Plus special attack, minus attack, that's good, but that's not something we really want to stick with. Um, I, because he does have some physical moves like Slash that we probably end up keeping up on him. So we just don't want to lower anything to, I like guess his, his defenses would be different. Special attack, minus attack, special attack, minus defense, perfect. I want to make sure I got that right. Races the random, yeah, okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and boom, there we go. Reset your Pokemons nature giving us a brand new nature putting his special attack up to 128 beautiful okay so next we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with ghastly here we're gonna change ghastly's nature now we want both special attack and speed for him but which is more important because it kind of depends on which moment because at some point he's always going to be faster unless it's a pokemon with a higher base speed right so no matter what he should be quite one of the first ones quite fast to go first so maybe we should focus on special attack so i'm thinking we choose the same one mild up special attack lower defense and defense doesn't matter for Gengar. so there we go we do that real quick and now we've got our boy even stronger of special attack lower defense and now we don't need much so if we do slash bow I only need 30 more tokens, and then we can change our boy Shogun's nature back to what something that we need it to be, because it's currently a neutral nature, which is fine. As long as it doesn't hurt him, it's not a big deal, but 
you know, I'd rather have it, you know, where we actually get a positive and change as well, because that would make everything a lot stronger and better overall. Okay, everyone, so I think what we need to do is we need to prep for our very first gym. So if we go ahead and do slash gyms, and we look at these now a bunch of these are there's different rules with them so it's all dependent something i hadn't realized a lot of the time when it comes to pokey saga and i would assume that these run very similarly so each gym has a level cap obviously and each gym also has an enable cap of how many pokemon you use for the battle i think it goes left to right for how many you can have and it's usually three to six so i'm thinking we want to start off with the bug gym now before we get there we do need to finish training up ghastly at least to a haunter and ev training it and ev training shellgun if we want to have a real chance sadly guys we don't have the ev training item we need for physical attack so this is actually going to take much longer than we would hope because it only gives us what one to three evs depending on the pokemon so like this gun shoes might give us two but most likely it gives us one attack ev so it makes it a lot harder especially considering if we go to evs one he's got 125 he still needs uh, at least 127 more uh, ev yields points in that category alone just be able to finish it off and uh, we don't have the money to buy a bracelet in that so it's gonna take a while but luckily with charizard already finished and ghastly being special attack and speed we have the bracelets both of those so it should make it a lot easier to be able to ev train them up okay guys so we're rocking 227 out of the 252 we need for our physical attack evs we're really making some good progress in here we've had a couple nido kings which give us three each which has been a big big help so those have been very very nice otherwise we keep grinding this out we're very close to getting this guy done and then we can start training our boy ghastly which will take a little while because he has almost no progress on him but we also have the bracelet for each of his main stats now the question i'm gonna have is is what's the best way for us to eventually get a gengar because we do have to trade it and i don't have access to trade simulation simulation so here's a real question how do i get myself a gengar do i trust one of you viewers when i see you online or do i trust a random stranger i really don't know because i feel like there was i had trade sim or something last time when i was doing it on my own because i was working on the pokedex specifically so i had to have had something to be able to get those evolutions done well that was quick everyone literally first battle and we are stuck in the ground giving our ghastly its evolution into haunter which is kind of surprising but oh well, oh well here we go come on i wish i could see it this is so annoying i'm literally stuck in this camera angle there we go shadow punch absolutely better than curse and everything else we have just until we get shadow ball there we go we officially have a haunter on the squad we just started uh literally just started leveling him up but now at least we have a decent move that we can start training with him so it's gonna be really easy so we can get this guy up and hopefully we'll have a very solid team to be able to take on that first gym there we go everyone after a little bit of work we are finally getting our shogun to evolve into a beautiful salamance as soon as it continues evolving there we go look at the bad boy look at him he's so sick and there is fly do we really want fly we have zen headbutt dragon claw dragon breath and crunch i really like our move set fly is a two-turn move and we don't have to have it because it's Pixelmon instead of Pokemon. And I want to keep Dragon Breath, even though we're a physical attacker. There we go. So I think that is the overall smart move. And that is beautiful. We have our Salamance. So now all we got to do is level up our Haunter. See if we can find someone to trade it with that we can get a Gengar. And we're ready for our gym. There we go, everyone. We just traded ourselves a Gengar. Well, Haunter for Haunter. Spicy Typhoon, thank you so much for helping me out. He needed to evolve a Haunter, and I need to evolve one. So now we have a big boy Gengar, and we are ready to train it up for the gym. Okay, guys, we've got a full evolved Charizard, Salamence, and Gengar. Gengar's level 40, but he doesn't get anything but a difference of Shadow Ball. So I'm hoping Shadow Ball's not going to be the killer. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can do for gym style. So Bug is apparently supposed to be the first gym. Ooh, okay, so the Alpha League Bug Gym. Level cap 50, you can use three Pokemon. You must wait one hour between each battle. Slash info gyms for on gyms plugin and gym rules for the full list. That's okay. So we've got our three Pokemon. Honestly, let's lead out with uh, uh, Gengar, I guess. Uh, this is going to be really interesting, but I think this is the smart choice. Let's, let's go for it. Here we go. And there we go. Boom. Perfect. Gengar, Charizard, and Salamence. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> okay. Araquanid. Araquanid is a water bug type. What if we go... We could go Hypnosis for the Hex combo. Yeah, let's... 
or Shadow Punch or Sucker Punch. I think we go Hypnosis and see if we can get the Hex combo off on there. It did fall asleep perfect. We go Hex and there we go. Double damage. And if he stays asleep one more turn, he's guaranteed to be dead. Beautiful. See that speed already. Pinsir, let's go just Shadow Punch on the guy. Make sure we get some damage on him. Especially considering he just Mega Evolved. I might have should have used Hypnosis to make sure he goes to sleep. But that's okay. That's okay. He's, what, Bug Flying now? So we just got to keep this up. As soon as he Mega Evolves, hopefully we can still get the Shadow Punch off first. But I don't think we will oh this is not good for mega pincer he used earthquake that's okay so we can avoid earthquake with both of our other pokemon let's go boom flamethrower on him he hurt us a lot with that oh my god what are we gonna do to him guy come on come on flamethrower you're so good boom finished him off in a single shot there we go because honestly the charizard is as powerful as he perfectly can be at this level a savali flamethrower again let's go and he one shot us next we have salamance which this is going to be really really interesting he's a bug type and oh we don't have much for him let's go dragon claw here and he one shot our salamance oh my god so guys we are not quite strong enough to take on the bug gym leader i think we just need a few different moves like because eventually maybe flamethrower on salamance as well definitely shadow ball on gengar that would be for sure I need to get rid of Dragon Breath for something else on our, our Salamance. We need something better than Slash on our Charizard. Otherwise, I think we did a really good job there. We came extremely close to defeating him. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you have a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you guys did. And I'll see you all later, Rockstars. Peace, peace.